Hey, welcome you guys to another video on Camera Vince's Photo Mechanic, the ultimate professional workflow tool. Okay, so a friend of mine asked me, so how do you search with Photo Mechanic? And I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to cut him a quick video and give him an explanation because while Photo Mechanic for the Mac has uh, is integrated into the Mac OS, there's searching and cataloging capabilities, sort of. I guess that's a pretty strong word. But there's some capabilities there to search with the Mac OS. I'm not real familiar with it, so I won't go into it in detail there. But on the PC, we are limited to just what Photo Mechanic can do. And while there is no catalog tool associated with this, Photo Mechanic does have a pretty powerful search tool. It is extremely fast, and it will get the job done in a matter of speaking. So let's just take a look at what it has. And this is from my perspective. I'm by no means a representative of Photo Mechanic. I'm in by no means any kind of professional user of Photo Mechanic. As a matter of fact, I think I, uh, I hit the forums looking for answers just as much as everybody else does. But this is something I know how to do, I think, and it's something that I can throw on video real quick for you guys to take a look at, and it just might help somebody out. So let's start with a blank Photo Mechanic. We got it up and running. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my libraries. You can either look at your libraries from your favorites or you can go to a hard drive and do the same. I keep everything pretty much organized from my library down and then I have current projects. So we'll go ahead and look at current projects. There's quite a few subdirectories here. The nice thing about Photo Mechanic, it will let, it will let you search subdirectories. It's pretty simple. Um, I can click on it, my images come up. Just like normal, this is normal everyday stuff. It's a no-brainer. But if we want to find something, say I want to find some horses in all of my current projects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a contact sheet with all the subdirectories in it first. I'm going to do that by right-clicking on current projects, open folder and subfolders in a new contact sheet. Now, before you do this, make sure that all your contact sheets are closed because if one of them is open that's in the subdirectory, it'll come up with a, with a failure and let you know that it's already open. So we're going to go ahead and open folders and subfolders in a new contact sheet. And this is going to load all the images. And as you'll see quickly, my images are there. It's going through and reading them. It's thinking about it. It just, it just pulled it together. So it found 1,560 images out of that directory and subdirectories, which is not a bad deal. That was pretty fast for those 1,500 images. And as you can see, they're all here. They're all ready to find now let's let's go look for horses. So I'm gonna go to edit, find, and I'm gonna make sure that I search in all photos, IPTC data, because I'm gonna actually search for horse in the keywords. So you can select all if you want to, which will be pretty fat, uh, pretty slow um, for this many images, because it's gonna search every one of those fields. And in my case, I actually search. For none, go ahead and click on keywords because I'm only going to search the keyword field. If you know the location or a title or something, you're welcome to go ahead and select those. Um, the more that you put, the longer it's going to take. But I find that it does a pretty good job. So we're going to say horse, all photos, keywords, hit find. It's going to think about it for just a second. So you can see the progress bar here is moving. And what it's actually doing is it's going through that whole list and it's going to select them. Now on the first pass you'll find that it's a little slower but on the second and third pass or any passes after that it's extremely fast. So what it did was is it went through and it actually selected all of the images that were tagged as a horse. So we can go ahead and close this. Now all the images are still there but if you can see down here there's 65 of the 1560 that are selected. So how do we see just the selected one in our contact sheet? Uh, it's pretty simple. We come up to the view by and we say selected. And this is going to sort them out and now there is our 65 images that are tagged as a horse. Searching's really that simple. And again, if I go back and search again, this will go very fast. So I have all my selected here now let's say that I want to go find a car. So I'll go back to here, I'll say view all, it's going to give me my 1500 back. Those are still selected, but who cares? 
we go back to edit we go to find and we select we type in car and again this time it's going to be extremely fast compared so if I hit car bam it's done so there's all the ones with cars it's really that fast again I think it caches it I'm not exactly sure so now as we do is hit select it and this is going to show us everything that is tagged as a car blah blah it's really that simple. That's all there is to searching directories and subdirectories using Photo Mechanic.